Hey guys, this is Patrick from fine-tunefast.com. So I just discovered the Molmo 7B or in general this new Molmo model, uh, which is a open vision language model developed by Allen Institute for AI. And yeah, it's definitely something crazy. It actually has uh, beat all the state of the art models and um, yeah just a quick overview for the evaluations like gpt 40 uh, gemini claude nothing can actually uh, hold with the new malmo model and it's fully open source so yeah in this video i'm going to show you how to deploy the malmo 7b um, using runpod using litserv to deploy the model and actually once um, the new model is integrated to vllm i also want to make another video about a optima an optimization and yeah i also think that this um, model needs more videos so for example i want to show some awesome use case and yeah maybe how to bypass capture and something using this model um so yeah i hope you guys enjoy it and now let's straight start into it so first of all we go to run pod um, we are going to use the community cloud as it's cheaper we need something with let's say 48 gigabytes so we go for that one um, i'm also going to show you the setup in the web terminal so we don't need to have the ssh terminal neither the star jupyter notebook we expose port 8000 that's where we run our api and then let me check the actual model um yeah we probably need something like 50 gigabytes of storage so we just go with 60 um yeah and let it deploy once the server is deployed we can click on connect start web terminal and connect to the web terminal we then head to our persistent directory which is called workspace you can also change that in the um, settings where we change the storage um, and yeah, we want to do a upget update. Once we've done that, we want to get Vim to actually edit the server file. Upget install Vim. And from there on, we say Vim server.py. And we copy the file. once that's done we just um yeah i just want to explain what prompt we're using here we use the prompt uh, describe this image in my next video i want to show you some yeah additional prompting and how to basically set up the code to um, have a prompt in the request and not here like this static prompt so yeah uh we basically just have to save that we need to install a few modules so pip install um, transformers pillow requests and inops and then we are basically good to go so in this step we are able to run the Oh yeah, we need litserv as well. And then we are able to start the server, which will then download a few files, like the model weights. Pip install litserv, sorry. A little typo, like always, like you guys are used to in my videos, but yeah, I'm doing this kind of live, so Please apologize those issues. Um, so yeah, in the in the example, we are going to send a request. Um, we also need to install 
accelerate and yeah in the example i'm going to send a picture to the large language model uh, which is this one and then we are um, curious about the answer so let's wait until all those model weights are downloaded all right guys this actually took a while and i think this uh, certain vps from runpod got a really low bandwidth but now that we see the log set up complete for worker zero we can go ahead and test the api so first of all we have to go back and find out the actual url um, and then we can exchange it here in the client example and send the request to the server if you guys want to play around with this model um, you should go to their chat model and actually yeah from here on you can prompt and add images as you want um, I also want to add a little um, example here so we take a screenshot of Amazon basically and paste it in here and say give me a overview of the gpus in json it should have price um, then maybe as prime and so on and there we go guys this model is seriously insane um i'm going to showcase some more use cases like i said but as you can see um this is even german um and it works quite well i'm impressed <laughs> um yeah let me know what you guys would use the model for and if there's something else uh, you would like to know about the model i'm happy about um, a new subscriber and obviously a like for this video and see you soon